What's going on champs? My name is TMA Prezi and I got a lot of positive feedback from my latest video as well as the last episode of Roundtable how I broke down blo both blocking systems that being the semi-auto block and the full manual blocking and how I added like pros and cons to each uh, system so if you ain't seen those videos make sure you give them a watch so you know what I'm talking about you know, I got a lot of positive feedback saying how much that was a good idea and and how much of a game changer that was. So that gave me the initiative to do more videos like that and try and look into more depth of, you know, things that ha we have been shown with, with regards to like gameplay footage or stats and things like that. So I'm going to try and keep them coming. This is Game Changer Episode 2, Combinations and Unique Styles of Fighting. Right, so as we can see here, I've taken a screenshot of the um, Boxer Creation stat screen from ESBC's latest gameplay video. And I was taking a look into this because I was talking about um, combinations and things like that on my stream the other night with regards to fighters actually having their own, their own tendencies, their own styles of fighting to keep the game realistic and making sure everyone is unique to their true styles of fighting as they do in real life when it comes to boxers in the game so as you can see here from top to bottom on the left side we got your health section and you got your stamina section your speed and then on the right you got your defense strength and heart right and you can see, you know, all the punches are under the strength side kind of thing. Then you've got your stamina, which is obviously in the stamina section. However, there is one major, major game changing stat that I don't see here, which is going to literally separate everyone's boxing styles and keep their styles unique to them and basically entice you to use boxers to how they're supposed to be used and that crucial game changing stat is combination i believe the ratings and as the stat as a whole of combinations needs to be added to this list and here's why so I'm just going to play this quick video that I recorded in the training section on UFC 4 and I'm going to show you something and we'll break it down together and then we'll go, we'll go back into the subject of combinations but I'm just going to show you this real quick. Right, so what we watched there and tried to focus on was mainly that one, two, left hook, straight across combination with all these guys, right? And did you notice any difference, any differences with any single fighter at all? And I'm not talking about the punch styles. We all know the punch styles are all kind of the same in this game, but the combinations themselves so i picked someone like your jose aldo who's who's a very patient kind of fighter he will make you miss make you pay aldo does mix it up sometimes but mainly to the body right he will mix up his hooks and uppercuts to the body but when it comes to the head he'll make you pay may uh make you miss and make you pay right then you've got volkanovsky who someone's like a more of a likes to be on the back foot again 
make you miss and make you pay right now kato is more of a um a boxer you know a boxer he can come forward uh and he can go back and he can kind of mix it up here and there uh with his styles then you got max holloway at the end who we know who you know who's infamous for his coming forward swinging punches non-stop and and to bring that pressure to you but didn't you notice every single person there through the combinations more or less the same i could mix those four punches up with literally anyone in the game and every time i throw that combination the speed and accuracy will more or less be the same every time i string it together unless i bring that short-term stamina down to a certain amount before they start slowing down maybe it's when it hits the a or the n or something then the punches will start to slow down before i have to let the stamina bar go up right but until it gets there with most fighters i can literally string those combination that four punch combination together three to four times keeping my speed and keeping my accuracy that shouldn't be the case with a jose aldo with a volkanovsky or kata i mean those guys shouldn't be throwing that high output and be able to throw that many punches as many times like your max holloway and that is the problem with this game the fact that you can pick any fighter that you want in this game and use them to, to throw all the same combinations more or less keep the speed in between the punches um and accuracy makes every makes everyone usable as a pressure fighter in this game yeah and blocking you know is a massive factor in this game when it comes to you know breaking someone's block with two or three punches but it's the fact you can keep doing that with your counter punches with your pot shotters and keep bringing them forward and throwing the same combinations and i believe that comes down to not having an actual combination stat if we had a combination stat that literally changes everything because why you can implement something within this combination stat that makes people pick the certain specific fighters for pressure and specific fighters for counter because people are using counter punches for pressure fighters because they're getting away with this and here's the breakdown if you have a combination stat let's say it's a hundred your example max holloway you can get away with that right let's give someone like aldo someone that's a more calculated fighter someone that's a and make you miss make you pay take your time and try to land effective strikes um and significant strikes rather than volume right let's say aldo is combinations rating an 84 an 86 right what you would do is with the combinations on how many punches you're stringing together whether that's three four five or six every time you go to string three four five or six punches after that third punch your speed falls on the fourth punch if you throw a fifth punch that speed will drop even more on the fifth punch if you throw a six punch combination on that last punch your your last punch is going to be even slower than your fifth punch right and with that being said accuracy should play a part as well because if you do pick a jose aldo or a volk that is going to make you think about your output it's gonna make you more timid to throw these four five six punch combinations and rip through somebody's block and keep using these counter punches and patient fighters as pressure fighters because they won't have the ability to do it your your speed within your combinations will drop as you're throwing them your accuracy will start going um off target as well so that's a way to implement this and the reason i say combination because you don't want it to be a stamina based thing because in boxing um you do have spot shotters that have better stamina or that have some of the best stamina in the game 
like your Floyd May Mayweathers that can mix it up, right? So it's not a case of don't punish someone's stamina for a combination. It's just the case of their style. It's their style because you've got Marcos Maidana that can throw a hell of a load of punches and he's got great stamina. Then you've got like your Floyd Mayweather that can pot shot and he's got great stamina as well. Or someone that is an ESBC, for example, um, your Paulie Malinaji, who was known for having, you know, a good, ga a good gas tank on him, very durable as well. But he wasn't a high output punch um, puncher. He wasn't. He wasn't a, a high output combination kind of artist. Then you've got your Caleb Caleb Plant as well. Caleb Plant. I know he can kind of mix it up, but that's the killer instinct kicking in. Like he will mix it up when he sees an opponent hurt or stuck in the corner. He will come with a flurry here and there or put in a four, five punch, six punch combination. But in general, Caleb Plant is a pot shot. He's a make you miss and make you pay kind of fighter with good stamina as well. So it's not a case of, oh, just make someone's stamina drop so they can't throw these kind of combinations. It's the style of fighting. So let's say we was to pick someone like a Pauli Malinaji. Malinaji is going to have maybe a 60 rated combination kind um, com uh, 60 rated ability combination so that is going to force you to use Malinaji for like a jab a jab left hook straight a one two left hook kind of thing because you know you can throw those three punches before your combination rating takes into play where it drops oh, on the fourth punch your speed your your punch might be slightly slower or off target to give someone the frames or the window to kind of counter back or or catch you with something punishing for for button bashing for trying to overdo the output on someone that's style that's not made for that and that is the massive problem with ufc4 you don't really get like the meta is pressure and the reason being is because you can use any fighter for pressure you can pick a counter puncher and use them as a pressure fighter because they don't have that tendency where oh this guy is made for like a two punches and back out you can actually use them for how you want because i believe there isn't anything slowing down your punches in between them other than the stamina other than you gassing out that's all you've got to bank on is that your speed got deteriorating due to your stamina but not in not in the mix of combinations and when i say speed slowing down i don't necessarily mean oh uh, as soon as you throw five six um punch combination your overall speed takes a hit no just in that moment in the combination itself if it's someone that's a counter puncher then on the third punch you gotta be careful car that guy's gonna get the window to catch you because you're that your your style is counter punching you're not you're not meant to be throwing the, um four five six punches combination your accuracy and speed takes that hit in that moment before you step back and reset and then you go again but with this game and lots of games that's not something that's implemented to get to people to think right i've picked a counter fighter all right i need to i need to counter fight and they pick counter fighters because some counter fighters have got high power right a high power a high speed i'm gonna use that to pressure fight which doesn't make any sense so again, just a quick few examples on each side where it comes to high stamina or good stamina and low output versus high output when it comes to combination punches. You've got your like Floyd Mayweather, uh, your Paul Paulie Malinaji, and even Sonny Edwards as well. He's a good example. He's someone that's got stamina for days he can move around for 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 as long as his legs let him which is you know no trouble during a, a whole fight and he doesn't have a high high output though so he's more of a you know make you miss make you pay kind of artist as well he likes to throw that you know uh that jab to the head um hook to the body cross to the head hook to the body like you'll mix it up with like two punches out st side step uh, use that lateral movement and then come around you with a hook or something but he's still got the stamina so that's what i'm saying don't punish the stamina 
for for the styles have a combination attribute there for each fighter to make people think and on the other side you've got i wouldn't say great stamina but someone with decent stamina as well is your amir khan he's someone with that i would give a high combination rate because he throws his six four um six seven punch eight punch combinations without slowing down in that combination and he keeps the speed and the accuracy as well while he's throwing this combination another one that we mentioned marcos maidana high output great ga gas tank as well he's someone that you would want to give a high combination or a high output volume to and last but not least chocolatito roman gonzalez as well someone that's got stamina for days and he could just throw everything including the kitchen sink at you non-stop combinations non-stop punches from all angles as well and again so that's being said it's like you can't go and just go on the menu pick a more poorly malinaji and then use him like roman gonzalez because it doesn't make sense if that was the case with esbc and i really hope that you know that this does make sense and people kind of do get where i'm coming from i didn't confuse too many people and let me know what you thought in the comment section below guys i hope you did enjoy this video um if you did don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you're not subscribed i'll appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and if you want to get notifications on my next videos don't forget to hit that little bell on the side as well champs appreciate for watching until the next one